right here on the Lego House with Monica, Samuel and Caesar. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you again. <laughs> good to see you again. As well. And good to see you. Yes, you too. Three names, I'm fine. So, we're sitting here with the awesome Lego Ideas team. And uh, we've shown most of the sets on Zusammengebaut. And we can talk about some recent sets, but I see this one for the first time. This is, I guess, the upcoming Lego Ideas sets, which many people miss for any reason. Why is it not released yet? <laughs> It's, it's, good. it's yeah. good. It's good to have something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> it's always. But is there any particular reason? Um, well, we've had uh, some products uh, just before it. We just re we just launched uh, the Flintstones and Steamboat Willie, and uh, this is coming very soon. Uh, so, uh, is there a release date yet? Yes, there is indeed. First of August this year. Yeah. And uh, who's responsible for this one? You. Uh, Design-wise, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, I did. Uh, I was the designer on on, on a treehouse. Yes, um, this looks stunning. I have to say again, it's my my first look here. Um, it's big. <laughs> I have to yes. say, it's it's a big one. It's the, the biggest one so far. It's a little, How many pieces? A little over three thousand, three thousand and thirty-six actually. Uh, you get hundred and eighty-five leaves in five different colors. For eighty euro. For uh, <laughs> a little bit more. It's uh, 199. Of course. So yeah. So when we, I can put it here in the middle. I want to destroy it. But first of all, we have four mini figures inside. Yes, you have uh, a family with uh, two adults and two kids. So a mom and dad and two kids. And is there any particular story? Uh, no, I don't think so. Right? It's just uh, you know. Um, uh, a, f a family. Uh, yes, the, the, the idea is that it's um, we're celebrating the nature and um, it's kind of a, a uh, upcycled treehouse. So they're using maybe recycled materials or found materials to to build a treehouse in the forest. Just to, to make it clear, you are the design lead of Lego Ideas. Am I right? Yes, indeed. Yes. Your job is the marketing lead of Lego Ideas. And your job is? I'm a model designer in Star Wars, actually. But I did. <laughs> that's but why. I I, 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 the ideas. That's why I'm wondering. I'm coming here just see you guys. I think we've met before, and we talk about Star Wars. So, okay, you're very flexible here in Lego. Yes, a little bit. Yes. So, and this was actually a passion project for me. So that's why. I, Where's the Ewok? Uh, well, I guess that if you no, there's no Ewoks. Buried in the buried in the base. <laughs> yes, it's playing in the in the base. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's my first look here, and <laughs> this is really big. I mean, man, everybody was thinking, yeah, it's Lego. They will another size, like. But no, you think no. When we release this, this is gonna be rock and roll, and it is. So, what was the most challenging part when you designed this uh, really great looking model? Uh, the biggest is the biggest challenge was by far the way that the huts are connected to the tree trunk, because they they are fairly heavy and they have to be very well secured. So there's a very strong connection um, to be able to support them. That was by far the biggest challenge, and one of the first things I did when I started to design the the tree house. So I mean, you're the design lead of Lego Ideas. And do you ask many people who would like to design this? I mean, when you come to the Lego Star Wars designer, you've asked everybody in the design building and nobody would look at like, dude, so <laughs> why? <laughs> the, fun the funny thing is, is that I actually don't have to ask anyone to work on Lego Ideas. We have a lot of the designers almost begging to be on Lego Ideas. So it says on his knees, begging me, please, can I work on the treehouse if you're going to do it? I cannot uh, see any X-Wing anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we, um, so we have a lot of designers with a lot of different hobbies and passions and says uh, his hobby before working at Lego was building tree houses so he's he's the perfect guy so again this is a <laughs> we would like to hear such stories before you get a Lego designer you built tree houses with Lego bricks yes I've, I've built a lot of things and I've built at least a couple of tree houses before uh, so when I saw that the, this project got to the 10,000 votes I practically begged Sam to, to do it and I'm You're very, thank, very thankful that he accept, accepted. How do you do, do? You do you send him a cake? I mean, <laughs> what, <laughs> what? 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 What is it like? I mean, if uh, just imagine, I would work at Lego. I don't. I but I would. I mean, I would love to. But but if I would work for Lego, sitting there, 
how would I reach out to you? I mean, which which is the best way to actually get in charge to build something like this? So, so the great money. Thing the, <laughs> but the great thing about Lego Ideas is that you can actually see where everything is placing up to ten thousand votes, and yeah. when it comes to ten thousand votes, you actually have this pool of we we might do this as a real product. So. It's very easy for the design team to, to pick out where, where might I fit in here. So we have uh, John Ho, he worked on the Steamboat Willie yeah, model, yes. and he's a massive fan of Mickey Mouse. And so he came to me, hey, I've, re I've already got one on my desk. What do you, <laughs> can I work on this? And so it's, it, it's easy for them to pick out their, their passion project and, and come to me, and, and then I can put it to my managers, who are the, the ones deciding what, <laughs> what happens in my team, uh, like who can work with me. And, and it's also great for the, for the fans out there because they get the right quality model for the right reason, and everything in there is has a meaning. So, and we, it's a great story to tell that someone was a fan of treehouses instead of being forced to make a treehouse, you know? So we're responsible for marketing. Why in the world should I spend 200 euro for this? But why not? You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, I think it's what we need to remember. This is a Lego Ideas product that's been. It's an idea that's been submitted by a fan to our platform, and there have been 10,000 people that have supported that idea because it's an awesome-looking product. It's a beautiful product. It's a great story, and those 10,000 people, they are great ambassadors. And they 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 tell us this is something that we would be interested in buying. You know, and then looking at the the treehouse itself listening to the story of the fan designer some of the thoughts that went into building the model the whole upcycling thing the nature of it the treehouse itself the display piece that's beautiful you know there's just so many things you can tell about this model um, and great stories that surround the model and we just think that 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 we could not not do it you know we had to do this um. it is really looking stunning i have to say now watch from every angle it's it's really really good looking set um, That's actually one of my favorite things on this set is that it's viewable from every angle. That's There's what no I do for, for 10 minutes now. Yeah. It's like <laughs> you can look from every side, you know, to send it around. There must be some angle which is not good, but actually now it is covered, there's a bird. <laughs> yes, there's a bird in a little birdhouse. There's a lot of uh, small things, Easter eggs, details all over. And uh, so you, while you build it, you will discover them. So, I mean... When we look at, I remember the, the fan model, it, I would say it was nearly the same size. Am I run, wrong? No, no, you're right. It's more or less the same size, yes. So when you, I mean, we talk a minute about Seymour Billy. I have some questions for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, but we talk about this set here right now. And <laughs> what, is, what is really great here, the, the, the colors are awesome. The shape is great. It's, it seems to be very stable. You can add this easily to your city at home. It's minifigure scale. I love everything about it. So we, we're done here. Yes. Yeah, I think so. You can change the leaves as well. So, and this is, I mean, good that you're here. I always need, always need assistance. Otherwise, I would just talk all the time because we see this one. And thought, is this a concept model or can we even change no, something? Buy two sets. And, uh, no, just it's good. You, you <laughs> You get the two sets of leaves in the same box. So you get the green leaves and the yellow and orange ones. And at one point in the BI, in the building instructions, you decide which, which version you want to you wanna build. This is an idea of yours or was it also in the fan design? No, this was something that came up with, within uh, our team. Good, good, good thing. So, again, I mean, normally I ask, oh, there are stickers and... There's no stickers. There's uh, one special printed piece that actually the fan designer, with a, the fan designer um, chose. Okay. So it's it's not here because it's not not ready yet. But it's okay. going to be a two by two bow with a carving wood carving inscription that he chose. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's 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 very. He wrote it himself and and did a kind of heart shape around it. So we we recreated his drawing as a, as a real deco. Yeah, but no, no stickers. You have a, a few printed pieces here and there. So some uh, uh, blanks uh, in some of the huts, and also inside you get uh, you get a few printed pieces too. And uh, shout out to Mike Psyche. Mike, if you're listening, um, just just have a quick look. Here. He is. I tell you, I will send him this video because, Mike, look at this. It is safe to get up here. It is safe to get up here. It's, I'm always looking for the minifigures. 
and when you remember the carousel, it wasn't safe for the minifix. But <laughs> again, this is Mike. Have a look. But he's my second favorite Lego designer of all time. Just to make make clear that I love him. But uh, this is this is great. So uh, I mean. You can change the leaves, it's 200 euro, it's over 3,000 pieces, it's looking stunning, it's perfect. Now we talk about Steamboat Wooly. <laughs> is it contradictory to no. what you just said? No, actually, <laughs> actually, there's one thing, I, I, I'm very honest here, I think you're doing a great job, um, I follow you on Twitter, always great to see your tweets. But, you know, I'm sitting here at the, to ask questions. What I don't like about Steamboat Wooly, a tough question right now. A tough question. To Just it, think about it. Yeah. When I see a fan submission, I think it would perfect uh, for me if the design is similar to the, tr to the transmission. As we see right here, I would say this is the shape, this is the scale of the original version. Steam out Woolly. I, re I think this is a great looking set. Don't get me wrong. It was enjoyable to build. I have it at home, near my desk. It's still there. It's a great idea, black and white, everything is perfect. Minifigures are, scale, are fine, nice prints, everything is fine. As a regular Lego set, this would be a perfect piece. But when we look at the fan submission, yes. it was another one. It was a small display piece. In my opinion, it was meant in another... It, it was a display piece. It was smaller. It, it was way smaller. So for me, those are two different models. They are showing the same, but they are different. So, this is my question. You know where what's going? You have two minutes right now, and go. So, when we have a model that reaches 10,000 votes on LEGO Ideas, we are then considering what can we do with the products, and the, the small Stimbo Willy submission was one of them. And before we can even consider, are we going to make this, we have to actually contact the owner of an IP, for example, Disney, if it's owned by someone like that. Um, and we showed them, and we had to kind of workshop with them, saying... Uh, you know, we've got this, what do you think we can do? And one of the things that came out of it is, if you can't fit Mickey Mouse inside the boat, don't do it. That was kind of the decision. Disney, so Disney told you. This was a kind of mutual thing between, the, the, between us and them and saying, you know, is it worth it to give half the experience? Otherwise, we probably would have had to decline it on Lego Ideas. And then two years later, this comes out on the shelf. That's not fair. So, yeah. so it's been really awesome to say to then go back from from us our discussions with Disney, saying this is this is great. We'll go back, and we actually contacted Marte, who's the fan designer, and the day before um, John he mocked up uh, a model, and this is probably the size we can do, and we showed it to him, and we co-created the products together. So between us and him, we, we created this new version and, uh, and uh, brought it to life rather than never doing it ever. So it was the case of we make these changes or we never do it ever. And because we decided to make those changes, we've had so many core cool opportunities to, to include things that would never have been included. And we've been able to... Um, be involved in Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday, which is also conveniently Minnie Mouse's 90th birthday. So that's why Minnie Mouse is included. And we've been able to tell the whole story of this uh, amazing uh, first ever appearance of Mickey Mouse. I totally understand. Thank you for your explanation. I didn't know that, that Disney told you, no, we won't allow you to release the set. Um, but again, um, this should be not the regular way. I mean, this is an example um, you can do it this way, but normally you would do it the other way around. I think it's a case-by-case case thing. Whenever we get the, the ideas that get the 10,000 votes, we, we have to evaluate every single idea, you know. So, so it depends, you know, so that it's, it's an ongoing discussion amongst ourselves as well. Is, is it the actual submission, the first picture that the people vote for that we have to recreate? reproduce one-to-one -one, or is it some of the many updates that some of these ideas get that makes the last 10,000 votes but then you know so 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 is it the hen or the egg is it is it the first uh, picture or is it the updates or what is it actually that the fans that are voting want and versus what is it the fan designer wants us to do so it's 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 a case by case thing. We have to evaluate every single time we go into a review phase and 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 decide whether a product makes it or not. Yeah. Please don't unfollow me on Twitter. But another another question for you. <laughs> Hate mail. <laughs> yes. um, did you always uh, also have the 
Ghostbusters headquarter in mind. There was some confusion back in the day. A Lego release set, which is stunning, by Markus Besser. I love it. But there were also two submissions on Lego Ideas. Goes, and many people are thinking Lego was taking the idea. Uh, I mean, we all remember this story. Um, was it something you had in mind? Um, well, we, we always choose the one that we think is best for uh, us to bring to the world. You know? so, um, and then with an, with, when it's an, an IP from a, a movie or something like that, it's much easier for us to expand on it. So we had basically said, no, we're never going to do the, we're never going to be able to sell the firehouse because we don't even know if people want Lego Ghostbusters. So, so we bought the Lego Ghostbusters Ecto-1 to the market as kind of an experiment. It did extremely well. And um, this is then maybe two years after we, we uh, released the, the fire station as kind of an expansion. So it wasn't us the case of us uh, sneaking the ideas away from the fans and ripping them off. But when it is an, an, an owned IP movie, a uh, TV show or something like that, it's very easy for us or maybe the IP owner to say, that was great, can you do the next set? Or, for example, Minecraft, uh, which has now evolved in this actually quite well-established Lego line. Yeah. But don't get me wrong here, yep. Yep. I think this is a stunning set. I think it's really expensive. We don't talk about prices here. It is, for me, what, what you've got, it feels very expensive, but it's a great looking set. I like the functions, the minifigures are cute. And if you're really into Disney, I think you're willing to pay the money for the set because it's a really good looking display set. It also has night play functions. So you're still satisfied with the set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've... We've had some super cool stuff um, going on with this model, actually an exclusive, we've actually never talked about it before. When we started on this, we showed, took it to the Disney archives and they had never digitized any of the original Steamboat Willie animation. So the front packaging of the box here, see this background, yeah. is scanned from an original film cell from Steamboat Willie. And they had never done it for any product ever before, for no reason. And they did it for us, for this box. So you get something super special. So everything here is authentic yeah. from Disney. Yeah. But no, no halfway done stuff. I'm a Lego fan and when I see a Disney store, I'm inside the Disney store and spend money. So again, <laughs> I'm, I have two daughters at home. It's, it's not possible to don't bring a Minnie Mouse. So again, this is a lovely set. And now we talk about this one. Are you up for more critical questions here? Because, I mean... But again, this is going to be out in August and no discussion here. I don't have a publishing review. I mean, <laughs> just show the set. It's perfect. Buy it. Totally it's fine. It I mean, this is... <laughs> now, one tip of mine. One tip. Now you're done with Lego. Because this is a masterpiece. Thank don't you. release any more Y-Wing, X-Wing. Forget about it. Because this is the set you're dreaming of. This is perfect. Thank yep. you. Okay. <laughs> We're done with that. But here we go. Flintstones. It's Flintstones. I have to say something. Yeah. I like it. Good. I really like we it. Like it too. I, I enjoyed the building process. I remember watching the series when I was a kid. Yes. And I was really surprised. I was surprised that there were many, many critical comments under my review, under some art tickets, and I can tell you the issues. Some people told me in their opinion, and it's totally fine, we, we are in a free land here, yeah. and Germany is also free. Uh, it's free. Yeah. Um, that that it's that the building inside that is too, it, it's too simple. There are um, some details missing. It, the, it's 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 the structure is boring. The minifigures are not good. When I built this, I never thought that the minifigures are boring. That maybe the shape that you could use short legs that you yeah. could change. And before we talk about minifigs, the the building himself is a very stable, very good looking build. It's enjoyable yeah. to build. Yes. I like the colors and I think if you put too much inside, it would be, you know, yeah. I like the fan submission of course, but I think this looks really better. And I like the option that you can switch this and you can play with it. So again, it's not yeah. not, not my critic here, yeah. but, I love it. but how do you respond to those who maybe say there are so many things missing? And of course, after this, we came to the dino. But before that, we talk about the inside of the building. Do you think some things are missing? What do you say to those who think it's, yeah. it's, there's not so much going on? So I think we spend a lot of, we actually spend a lot of time trying to respect 
the animation itself. Um, we spent a lot of time watching things, and and uh, so we actually added the opening function that it has, where it can open up, yeah. because the when you watch the animation, you have Fred. He's like running full full speed in the house, and he just goes on and on and on. So it would this kind of idea of it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, and uh, so we added this kind of open that you can open it up and play inside. So the house is bigger when you look play inside it, and. Um, Actually, the the backgrounds in the animation are quite simple, and so and they they're Stone Age, so they actually don't have a lot of furniture. So we tried to cram in as much as possible iconic things: telephone, sofa, TV, these kind of things. Um, so we tried to hit as many of the the marks as possible, uh, and also add some cool features like the bowling tools, which wouldn't normally be in the house as such, but it's a great. Um, opportunity for us to give something that we couldn't do as its own set you know you can have this kind of bowling feel to it I add this building in my amusement park as an as an attraction for example because again I love the set I love the car what do you say to those who think the minifigures are not good looking the, the legs are too long I mean like 10 comments discussion about the minifix yeah. which which I don't understand because they look I mean this is Fred it's 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 fine but what do you think of the minifix I love the minifigures. I think they are very well done. They're designed by our designer, Crystal. And uh, one of the first challenges we had is that everyone in the Flintstones has quite big noses. So, um, and Lego figures don't have noses. So, so that's the first challenge, is how do you make Fred Flintstone's face without Fred Flintstone's massive nose? And so it's, we spent a lot of time experimenting, like, does it look like they have a mask on if, if you just do the beard? Uh, so they have this kind of indent for the nose, which kind of hints to that they have this nose on their face. Um, and then we tried to um, make them as close to the animation as possible without... Uh, losing the Lego identity and that's that's very important for us that you can take Fred Flintstone and you can actually put him next to uh, Anakin Skywalker and there's the same style of figure and they can work together in in the same kind of play world. This is an IP, the price is fine in my opinion, the price would be perfect if there would be a dino inside. Where's the dino? So. So uh, we, we had a lot of discussions about the dino and we were exploring all kinds of things if we could maybe one day make a, a molded piece but that would have taken too long and then the time has passed we could never do the set. Um, and then we talked about um, building it but the, the elements they would have taken would not have been stable enough for us to say this is the fine quality that we want. Uh, and then the anniversary for the Flintstones that we launched on which is the... 60th? 50th anniversary? One of those. Um, I think 200 years. <laughs> um, the, um, actually, Dino does not appear in the first episode. So, we, we talked with the Warner Brothers to say, we're going to do the set. These are the characters we're thinking based on where we are in this time in the Flintstones. So, if you imagine episode one of the Flintstones, which is about Fred and Wilma and Barney and Betty and uh, that's kind of it and that's that's where this kind of thing started was like let's thin eyes my friend yeah, yeah. thin eyes let's make it like the <laughs> let's make it the kind of like the beginning of the Flintstones yeah. and maybe one day set two comes out who knows <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to be baby also okay yeah, yeah, well, again yeah. this is a really great set I was happy that you're going to release it but uh, now it's the end is near we will put this away because Here we go once again. I haven't showed you the w another feature, which is... Please, please go. This go. comes out, and the roofs come out, and then you have full interior. <laughs> we'll put this at the beginning of the video because it's so awesome. <laughs> again, this is stunning. We could sit here for two hours just sitting here and looking at this model. I have nothing to ask. Would you like to tell something? Uh, it was really, really fun to, to, to design, and uh, I really hope that, that uh, fans and, 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 and people that, that build it enjoy it. That's pretty much it. They will. Because I think it's a good building experience, too, and it's a nice display piece. Um, this is great. Um, it's stunning, and we're looking forward to the um, dinos which yeah. will be out there soon. So you can, I mean, we're going to talk about the future, but we have two more minutes, so we talk about the future. Yeah. 
when uh, we get your message and Hassan standing there, the next idea set will be the dinos. Have you already begun uh, be, be began to, to actually um, um, create the set or is it now you start now? Or when, when do you actually begin the, the design process? So, so when uh, a project reaches 10,000 votes, that puts it on our radar as to this could one day be a Lego set. So uh, the designers in the team are you know approaching us uh, are telling us that they want to work on it so we say well let's make a prototype and see what we think and it with for example voltron can it stand up if we build it um so there's so we're starting to challenge ourselves already from that date and uh you know if a product gets to if a, one of the submission gets to 10,000 votes really fast it gives us a lot of time until the next review to to be able to work on some ideas and then um, after we've maybe made a an idea for it. We're contacting the fan designer saying, hey, what do you think? Uh, and uh, congratulations, we're going to go ahead and announce it in a few days. So that's pretty awesome as well. And there's one last thing. Uh, we have somebody who is commenting very often on the website, who's writing very um, nice comments under many articles. And uh, she's important for us because she seems to be a really nice person. And she asked me, could you tell the ideas team something? And I will do right now. And I think I, I try to translate. He's, she's very kind. She's very kind. But she's going to kick your ass if you didn't release the piano. We postponed the piano to the next review. We are looking into it. I mean, and now here's my opinion about this. You have to release the piano. Try hard. Try better. Ask everybody and go to Jamie. You have to release the piano. We, we Jamie has, has, has been a paternity leave cover for Sam. Yes, in he's actually been working on Lego ideas whilst I've been away looking yeah. after my baby boy. So, uh, <laughs> so it's probably since the last time we spoke I've yeah. been actually on leave. And uh, oh, yeah, okay. so um, he's been my cover and uh, he's been the one having to deal with that the review period. Yeah, and postponing. Yeah, no. So he, he has been involved. Yeah. But I think it's, um, as you can see in the fan submission, But there's lots of details in the updates and everything as well. It's uh, it's not an easy choice to make. It's fairly complicated from what you've seen before. So it's not just saying sure, let's do it. We we need to make sure that it's feasible before doing an announcement. So and if we if we go ahead, we want to deliver the best product possible. Yeah, it will be hopefully, and we're going to see the piano very soon. Am I right? Who knows? Everything can happen. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Sam, it was a pleasure to meet you again. So, thank you so much. The Lego Ideas team with the big announcement, the piano will be out there very soon. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll see. <laughs>